Jason Caldwell, uh, Auburn 247. Shed, for you, we, we've heard a lot about kind of the workout routine for you and a uh, bigger, stronger, faster. How different do you feel this year than you have in past years? Um, I actually cut down on weight a little bit. Um, I was playing around like 205 last year. Now I'm playing around like 200. Just the extra five pounds helps. Um, just to be able to move around a little bit better um, and in and out of my routes and running down the field and stuff like that. So it's helped me a lot. The impact ESPN 167. Uh, at media days, Coach Arson mentioned that having you around with your experience is almost like having another coach. Of your teammates, is there anyone you've noticed a lot of improvement in in the last couple of months? Um, I would say Chick, uh, Tavares Dawson. He's been playing well. Um, him and Var together, like they complement each other. Both fast dudes, great routes, good hands, all that. So he's made big strides. Brian Stoltz, all the rivals. Uh, how's it being your fifth year, and how comfortable are you now in the second year under Hartson and his offense? Uh, really comfortable. Just last year, him coming in, um, I studied a lot, just looking at everything like a quarterback, trying to know like not only my position, but the whole field and what everybody's doing. So I'm very comfortable in it now. Shedrick, Brian Matthews, Auburn Rivals. Um, how has your room changed under Ike Hillier? What do you think about him? He's been great. I mean, just all that NFL experience, like him playing and then him coaching too. Um, he just gives us so much like game, like little nuances and stuff on the routes, um, everything. So he's been great. Johnny Conn, ABC 54 in Birmingham. I just want to ask about the quarterbacks and how much well TJ and Zach have grown from the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they've grown a lot. Um, obviously, the, the competition is going to bring out the best in both of them. So. Um, They've been dealing with that well. Uh, we worked in the off season, throwing routes, doing one on one and stuff like that. So it's been it's been good for both of them. Jeff Bill Cameron from uh, the Drive on ESPN one hundred six seven. Talk about the the young guys that have been working out all summer. Who's uh, you know who have sort of stood out to you of the newcomers? Uh, the newcomers, I would say uh, Camden Brown, the big dude. Like he's strong too. Like I think he did like. We did 225, and I can't remember how many reps he did, but he did a lot. So that's a strong dude. Shit. <clears throat> Nathan King over 24 7. What did you see out of Landon in terms of his progression this summer now that he has you know, officially stuck to that receiver position? Is there anything you've seen him kind of doing differently in terms of the way he was working with him, you know, working with on his body this summer? Uh, yeah, I think he's getting a little bit more comfortable. Um, he's been out there working with us too in the offseason, just running routes. Um, Transition, obviously the routes are different, um, different coverages and stuff like that. So I think he's been doing a good job with it. You're a guy that, that grew up knowing Auburn, uh, knowing this place. How, how how important and how much fun is it to be one of those guys now that's a leader of a team? Uh, it's really fun. Uh, we um, we actually all talk about that all the time. Like we just sit back and watch old games and be like, dang, like back then we looked up to those dudes and was like, that's so cool. Like now we, in those spots in the position, and we the ones on TV. Just it's still it's still crazy to this day. So it's um, I'm grateful for it, and I just love it. Jay Philip Marshall, Auburn two four seven. How, what would you tell a young guy who comes in here with all kinds of expectations, the reality of what it's like compared to what you expect when you get here? Um, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's real different. Like especially when you get recruited, you know, they telling you all the good stuff, you. They pampering you, all that type of stuff. But when you get here, it's about work. Like, it's hard work. And I tell them about that all the time, like what they can do to get better, um, how they can handle stuff, like little stuff uh, on the day to day. And I think they they um, they listen and they take it well. Tank Bigs used to do a lot of the backfield. There was Coach Harson said after the spring game that they wanted to utilize him a little more as a pass catcher. Right. How dynamic can he be for your offense if he starts catching the ball in the backfield? Uh, yeah, I think he can be real dynamic, especially like lined up on linebackers and stuff like that. Um, so he, he does that stuff in the offseason too with us. He'll go around routes and thank you receivers. So he like to compete with us. So, yeah. Jed, what's your name, Jill, WSFA? What's it like working with your wide receiver coach? Um, it's been fun working with him. He's a cool dude, like real laid back and chill, but he get his point across to all of us. So he's uh, he's fun to work with. Any differences you've noticed from last year's offense coordinator Mike Bobo moving on now? You got Eric Keesaw and Brian Harson in more control of the offense. Anything that really seems different about this year versus last year? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of the, some of the, most of the stuff is the same. Just 
being creative, you know, trying to move people around, uh, getting different situations, stuff like that. So it's pretty much the same stuff, so I would say. Any new things for you? Uh, gotta wait to see. <laughs> sure. we, we heard a lot about Koi at, yeah. at Media Days from everybody who was there. Let's talk about the impact he made this summer. Just what did you see working alongside him in the offseason? Koi, he, uh, he worked hard, boy. Like, he, he's one of the more, the most, um, like hardest workers I've seen, like outside of team activities and stuff like that. Uh, when I'm in there, he in there, and we always catching balls, working with the quarterback, stuff like that. So he, um, he'll be good. Shed, um, with Ike coming from the NFL, is there anything he's been focusing more on maybe that you didn't do as much before he got here? Um, I mean, like I just said, it's just like little nuances of like routes and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Look. You know, Coach Harvey and Keesaw both said little things. Is is that kind of the difference in going from good to, to better to, right. to great? Is oh, yeah, all that little stuff. Like, it's – I couldn't tell you nothing specific right now, but, like, just the little stuff within routes, um, looking at coverages and, like, knowing what you're doing on every play and why you're doing it. Like, that's, that little stuff, it takes you to another level, so. Do you see now that you – yeah, you mentioned losing some of that weight. Is there anything from fall camp that you really hope to get out of this? A specific thing, maybe a, uh, something within the route tree or whatever? Yeah, no, just continue to grow. Uh, like you said, the route tree, running every single route, maybe getting in the slot a little bit, doing a little work there. Um, so. What's it like for you now, kind of as the, the old head in the room, not a lot of experience around you? Uh, yeah, they. Um, I feel like everybody in the room kind of like, they look up to me and they listen. Um, I try to steer them in the right direction all the time, and I think they'll be good, man. They, there's a lot of talent in that room, and they'll all be they'll be straight. How helpful is it to work against defensive backs like Nehemiah and Jay? Oh, yeah. What, what, what we we right compete right? every day. We got new DBs coming in, uh, DJ, um, Keontae Scott, and a bunch of them boys. Like, we compete every day. It's workouts, um, team runs, practice, all that. So it's been good for us. Shed, you mentioned the route running. Uh, I mean, how precise do you have to be? What happens if you're off a yard or two? Timing with the quarterback, um, especially like having different quarterbacks right now, uh, TJ, Robbie, uh, Zach, whoever it is, like that timing has got to be there. Got to be precise every time. Um, and it just, it helps with the whole rhythm of the offense, so. Is there a different feel for the different quarterbacks with each one in terms of uh, some of those things? Yeah, some of them, because they, obviously they're different guys. Like. They got different fields, but they all they all do a good job of like commu communicating with us and working with us and just getting through all that stuff. Cedric Jeff Shear, AuburnTigers.com. What did you do to lose five pounds on the Ted Field? Um, a little bit of diet, and then obviously just come out here working. So. We have time for one more question.